This video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. If you're like me and you accidentally stay awake until the sun rises, or if you just need a good midday nap, Manta has you covered. I've personally been loving the Manta Sleep Mask Pro because I sleep best in silence and darkness. It features true 100% blackout for deeper sleep. C-shaped eye cups for unbeatable side sleep comfort Zero pressure on eyelids or lashes Advanced materials and ventilation for unmatched breathability I also wanted to try out the Manta Sleep Mask Sound for all of you who do fall asleep to ASMR and I was really impressed with the quality as well as the comfort I think this is a great way to experience ASMR while laying down in bed with razor thin bluetooth headphones perforated materials for airflow and ventilation 20 hour battery life which is two times the leading competition convenient tabs for easy speaker adjustment no audible battery notifications for a peaceful sleep true 100% blackout with zero eye pressure and c-shaped cups for side sleep comfort you can also choose the Manta sleep mask featuring 100% blackout for deeper sleep Infinitely adjustable for a personalized fit, soft, breathable, durable materials, zero pressure on eyelids or lashes. The Manta Cool Mask soothes eyes and sinuses with evenly distributed cooling. It's infinitely adjustable for a custom fit, soft, durable, snack-free materials, high pressure-free compression, near blackout design for total relief. The Manta Steam Mask alleviates stress and dry eyes powered by 100% natural steam relief in just 3 to 5 minutes it's infinitely adjustable for a custom fit made with soft, durable, snack-free material eye pressure-free compression near blackout design for total relief the amount of weighted mask improves sleep and mood featuring evenly distributed weight infinitely adjustable for a custom fit soft, durable, snack-free material zero pressure on eyelids or lashes and 100% blackout for total relaxation the Manta Silk Mask is made with 22 mommy silk which prevents wrinkles and refreshes the skin cells it's naturally hypoallergenic, moisturizing, and ultra-breathable six layer head strap for optimal comfort it's infinitely adjustable for a personalized fit with true 100% blackout for a deeper sleep also, be sure to check out their mask add-on accessories, such as these aroma dots. Check out Manta Sleep using the link below, and if you like anything, be sure to use my code RUBY for 10% off your order. Thanks so much to Manta for sponsoring tonight's video and supporting the ASMR community. Hello everyone, and welcome to another ASMR video. I'm really happy to see you here today and um yeah so I planned something really fun for this video I think it's fun so I went to three different grocery stores and I selected a bunch of snacks that I've never tried before and so I thought it would be a fun little like mukbang sort of video which I've never done before but the criteria is that it's snacks that I've never tried before so I, I tried to pick out the most unusual snacks to me um, things that I've either never seen before or never tasted before I went to um, a regular British grocery store a like hipster overpriced healthy grocery store and an Asian grocery store so I have entirely way too many snacks right now uh, so I will get right into it <laughs> this is the loot take everything out of the bag and I will show it to you all first and then I will go on with the taste test I'll go in order from each shop so you see which falls into what category 
So first I went to the Asian store. I got this drink. Hot hot ta soda, original flavor. I really liked the Sakura flower design and I liked the metal bottle. So that's why I chose this and I've never tried this kind of soda drink before so I'm very curious I got Pepperell Crunchy and I've had Pepperell before but I haven't had this version of it I thought the crunchy kind would be good for ASMR, so that's why I chose this one. But because I felt like I was sort of cheating because I've had Pepero before, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, I got this other one called Toppo, which is chocolate inside of a crispy pretzel. And I thought that sounded really, really good. So I got that, and I've never tried something like this before. Next, I got this thing called Handmade Dalgona, but I genuinely don't know what it is. I really have no idea what it is. I picked it because the characters looked really cute. Ingredients are mostly sugar, so I think it's some kind of candy. <laughs> okay, and then last, I got these um, hot chicken flavor chips or something. It has this breathing, fire breathing chicken in it. flavor of noodle cup before and it like burns my mouth off. <laughs> it's so spicy but I kind of really like it. So um but I never tried this snack. I'm assuming because of the flame that it's going to be extremely spicy as well. So I think I might save this one for last just in case I'm dying. <laughs> then I can just end the video. So then the next store I went to was the healthy food store. I got... So the first thing that stood out to me as like entertaining is crunchy shiitake mushrooms. They're sort of marketed as like chip snacks, but they're just like mushroom, shiitake mushrooms. I never tried something like that. And then I thought, um, that seems fun to try. Next, I got this Karma Bites Popped Lotus Seeds. So, I don't really know what lotus seeds taste like. And I don't know what popped lotus seeds taste like. So, that seems really interesting to me. I got this Victorian lemonade with fermented natural botanical lemon drink with fermented herbal extracts. Exquisitely crafted, botanically brewed. I I just really liked how appetizing it looked. I do like lemonade, so I think I'm going to like this one. And it seems like it will have flowers in it or something. The last thing I picked up there, mainly because I thought it was strange and it might make a fun sound, is 
Lemon flavored plastic free gum. <laughs> so I first of all I didn't know gum had plastic. So that's concerning. Maybe this is good. <laughs> I don't really chew gum at all. I used to so much when I was in high school, but I stopped chewing gum for a long time. Um, but I thought it might be a fun ASMR trigger because I've never tried chewing gum in an ASMR video before. And I liked how they sounded in the box. Oh wait, I forgot something, because it was hidden. I got one more thing from the healthy food store. I have bought these. Like berries, red currants or something. I never bought these before. British grocery store. The, the um, British grocery store is kind of normal to me anyway, so there wasn't a lot of stuff that um, I thought was that, like different. So I got Walker's prawn cocktail flavored chips or crisps, if you will. Um, they honestly don't sound good to me, and that's why I chose them, because it's something I would never grab. It sounds very weird to me. <laughs> so, I thought it would be fun to get some things that maybe I won't like. Um, this one, maybe it's kind of boring, but I got a Zero Sugar 7 up. I was kind of going for like getting a drink and getting something sweet and getting something savory, sort of like that. Um, and none of the drinks were very interesting. However, um, I used to drink 7-Up when I was a child. Like it was the only soda that I really uh, liked to drink sometimes. Um, and I never tried the zero sugar kind, so I thought that might be fun to taste it. <laughs> okay. Now these, I just never tried them. They seemed a little bit strange. They're called hula hoops. Big hoops. They probably taste like normal salty potato chips, I assume. But they were titled pretty uniquely, I thought. Um, at least I've never really seen hula hoops back when I was living in the States. So this is new to me. Yeah, I was less inspired at that store, so I didn't get as much stuff. Um, but this also strangely caught my eye because it is a package of gum that claims to make you feel calm. <laughs> And, um, I just thought that was kind of funny. That's why I picked it. Alright, so that was the haul. I think next I will go into the taste test at random so it won't be so categorical. This is, like, overwhelming. <laughs> I saw, 
which is the crunchy mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> I was sort of expecting them to be like shaped into like little chips, but they're actually just whole dried mushrooms. <laughs> That's actually surprisingly really yummy. really good. Like bubble gum. of like it because it sort of tastes like bubblegum, but it also reminds me of when I used to go to the dentist as a kid and they used bubblegum flavored toothpaste. It kind of reminds me exactly of that, of that toothpaste. <laughs> It tastes like bubblegum flavoring. I can't decide if I like it or not. I'll give it a medium. Uh, the rating system is like thumbs up, medium, or thumbs down. sort of expecting them to be more firm and burst, but it's more of like a soft squish. <laughs> like it's still a juicy little burst, but it's more of a little squish than like a crunch.
Okay, this was not at all what I was expecting. I thought they were going to be more like thinly cut, sort of like onion rings, but hard. But they're actually like kind of thick. potato feeling so it actually reminds me of a Pringle you know how Pringles have that like potatoey powder vibe <laughs> yeah see it says ingredients dried potato and potato starch I think that's what Pringles are like too but these are thicker and obviously they're circles. Pretty good. I'll give them a medium because they taste like Pringles, but I I like Pringles better. These are a little bit too thick. But, I mean, I would eat them. <laughs> but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to eat them, you know what I mean? I'm a monster. All of that salt has made me thirsty. Let's get into this Victorian ah, lemonade. It's less exciting than I thought it would be, to be honest. It just tastes like lemonade. I was hoping it would taste more like flowers with lemonade. Like some sort of fairy drink, but it just tastes like lemonade. And lemonade is good. I enjoy lemonade, so I'll give it a thumbs up. I especially like that it's um, carbonated lemonade. That makes it extra refreshing. on the biscuit stick. You really can't go wrong. And the crunchy iteration does have a pretty fun 
texture. But it is kind of falling apart on my floor, which is a problem. So I'll um, proceed with caution. weird because like, there's these little like flakes on it those little black speckles and they taste burnt like if you burn popcorn let's see the ingredients pops lotus seeds olive oil and million pink salt oh, these are a nil for me don't have a good flavor. I like the texture though. What do I do with all these? sort of smell like fish. potato chip, but then it has this variety of flavors, some of which I like, some of which I dislike, so it's very confusing because it, has, it tastes kind of vinegar, and I really like vinegar chips, those are my favorite, but then they're like weirdly sweet, which I don't like in this context. I'm gonna give them a thumbs down.
I mean, they're not despicable, but I wouldn't ever buy them again. Let's wash that down with some bubblegum flavored soda. Okay. I'm curious to try this calm gum. the weird gum. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is a universal experience for people everywhere, or if it was just like a thing at my school, but if you had gum at school and like somebody saw you taking out gum, you were pretty cool because then a bunch of people would be like, hey, can I have some gum? <laughs> and I, I always had gum and I didn't want people to know that I had gum because I didn't want to share it. <laughs> so I would sneakily take out my gum. Okay, it smells like minty. Nice little regular like rectangle. I just put a floor cleaner.
do a bubble test. it was in a can because I like drinking out of a can better than in a bottle It has this like really crunchy texture that's also like fizzy somehow. I'm 
really bad at opening things, okay? Oh, cute. They have like two individually wrapped packages. So you can have one and give one to your friend. Interior chocolate is like um kind of a soft chocolate, sort of like Nutella, but slightly thicker. Really tasty though. It tastes like the noodles, but the noodle flavoring is on these little crunchy. Mm. junk food snack. So, I think this kicked the shiitake mushrooms out of first place in the savory category. Alright, I'll do the ranking. <laughs> savory category, we've got first place hot chicken flavored salad. Shishaki mushrooms. Where are these from? From the UK, I guess. Third place, we have Big Hoops. How do I rank these? Because they're both bad to me. Um, I guess fourth place, I'll go with the prawn cocktail. <laughs> um, and last place in the savory category. These pop lotus seeds because they tasted burnt to me. Um, both of the gum is eliminated from this competition because I didn't like either of it. So it was just eliminated. Um, they didn't place. In the sweets category, we've got Topo Po Topo Po. Okay. In first place, we have the Topo Biscuits from Thailand. Second place, the Dalgona from Korea. Crunchy caramel. Third place, 
is the Pepero Crunchy, even though I really, really like them as well. Um, they just were less interesting because I did have something very similar before. And last is the berries, even though I really like them too, but I think um, chocolate filled biscuits is more exciting. See you again soon.